The Skulls, A Story of Power and Corruption Chapter 1, The Dream Luke had always dreamed of being a skull. He had heard the stories of the secret society, of its power and prestige. He knew that membership in the Skulls was a guarantee of success, that it would open doors that would otherwise be closed to him. Luke was a brilliant student at Yale University. He was handsome, charming, and ambitious. He was also the son of a wealthy and powerful man. Luke knew that he had all the right ingredients for membership in the Skulls. One night, Luke was invited to a party at one of the Skulls' secret meeting places. He was excited and nervous at the same time. He knew that this was his chance to finally achieve his dream. The party was everything that Luke had imagined and more. It was extravagant and exclusive. Luke was surrounded by the most beautiful and powerful people at Yale. He felt like he had arrived. As the night went on, Luke was approached by a group of skulls. They were impressed with him and invited him to join their society. Luke was ecstatic. He had finally achieved his dream. Chapter 2 The Initiation Luke's initiation into the skulls was a bizarre and disturbing ritual. He was blindfolded and led to a secret chamber. He was forced to swear an oath of secrecy and obedience to the society. He was also threatened with death if he ever betrayed the skulls. After the initiation, Luke was given a skull ring, the symbol of his membership in the society. He was also told that he would now have access to the skull's vast network of resources and connections. Luke was initially excited about his membership in the Skulls. He felt like he was now part of an elite club. He began to enjoy the benefits of membership, such as exclusive access to parties and events. However, Luke soon realized that the Skulls was more than just a social club. It was a powerful organization with a dark side. Luke began to see that the Skulls were involved in illegal and unethical activities. Chapter 3, The Truth One day, Luke was invited to a meeting of the Skulls in a circle. At this meeting, he was told about the society's true goals. Luke learned that the Skulls were planning to take over the world. Luke was horrified. He had never imagined that the Skulls were capable of such a thing. He tried to resign from the society, but he was told that he couldn't leave. The Skulls had a hold on him, and they would never let him go. Luke was trapped. He was forced to participate in the Skulls' plans, even though he didn't agree with them. He lived in constant fear of being killed if he disobeyed. Chapter 4 The Price of Success Luke's membership in the Skulls came at a high price. He lost his innocence and his idealism. He became involved in activities that he never thought he would be capable of. Luke also began to lose his friends and family. They didn't understand why he had changed so much. They accused him of being power-hungry and corrupt. Luke was alone. He was trapped in a world of darkness and deceit. He knew that he couldn't go on like this. He had to find a way to escape from the Skulls. Chapter 5, The Escape Luke knew that the only way to escape from the Skulls was to expose them to the world. He began to gather evidence of their illegal and unethical activities. He also started to reach out to people who could help him. One day, Luke met a journalist named Sarah. Sarah was investigating the Skulls and she agreed to help Luke expose them. Luke and Sarah worked together to gather evidence against the Skulls. They also started to leak information to the press. The Skulls were furious. They realized that Luke was trying to betray them. They sent assassins after him, but Luke was able to evade capture. Luke and Sarah's efforts eventually paid off. The Skulls were exposed to the world, and they were forced to disband. Luke was finally free.
Epilogue Luke and Sarah continued to work together to expose corruption and injustice. They became known as the Skullbusters, and they were feared by the corrupt and powerful. Luke had finally found his true calling. He was using his power and influence to make the world a better place.